Welcome back, dear viewers, and a warm hello to all the new minds joining us today. If you're as eager to explore the profound wisdom of historical figures as we are, then you're in for a treat. Before we dive into the captivating philosophy of Friedrich Nietzsche, let's take a moment to express our gratitude. If you find value in the content we bring you here, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue sharing inspiring stories. Now, let's embark on a profound journey into the life and thoughts of one of the most influential philosophers of all time, Friedrich Nietzsche. Today, we pay homage to the brilliant philosopher whose ideas continue to resonate across the ages. At the heart of our exploration lies his famous quote, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. But who was Nietzsche, and what events in his life led him to express this profound sentiment? Join us as we uncover the enigmatic life of this philosopher and unravel the meaning behind his empowering words. Friedrich Nietzsche's early life was marked by intellectual curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. Born on October 15, 1844, in Rocken, Prussia, he displayed exceptional talent from a young age. Amidst his brilliance, Nietzsche faced significant challenges and personal struggles. One significant challenge Nietzsche encountered was his struggle with poor health. He suffered from various health issues, including severe migraines and eye problems, which plagued him throughout his life. These health challenges not only caused him physical pain but also impacted his ability to engage in regular social activities and academic pursuits. Moreover, Nietzsche faced emotional and psychological struggles, including periods of deep melancholy and existential crises. He grappled with profound questions about the nature of existence, the meaning of life, and the human condition. These inner conflicts provided the impetus for his exploration of topics such as the will to power, the eternal recurrence, and the ubermensch, the overman, or superman. In addition to his personal struggles, Nietzsche also encountered professional setbacks and criticisms from the academic community. His unorthodox and revolutionary ideas challenged prevailing philosophical and cultural norms, leading to both admiration and opposition. Nietzsche's radical critique of traditional morality and religion, as expressed in works like, Thus Spoke Zarathustra, stirred controversy and animosity from some quarters. Amidst these challenges and adversities, Nietzsche found resilience and strength to confront his struggles head-on. It is within this crucible of life experiences that he developed the profound insight encapsulated in his famous quote. Nietzsche believed that facing and overcoming difficulties, rather than succumbing to them, can lead to personal growth and a stronger sense of self. The concept of aim of fati, love of fate, emerged from Nietzsche's philosophy, encouraging individuals to embrace all aspects of life, including the hardships, as essential components of personal growth and self-realization. This idea reflects Nietzsche's conviction that one's character and strength are honed through grappling with life's challenges and transforming them into opportunities for growth. These obstacles would become the crucible for the ideas he would later espouse, including his famous quote on resilience and strength. Nietzsche's philosophical journey was not one of solitude. Partnerships played a vital role in shaping his ideas. Nietzsche's early work was strongly influenced by the German composer Richard Wagner, with whom he developed a close friendship during the 1860s and 1870s. Wagner's artistic vision and ideas about cultural renewal deeply influenced Nietzsche's early philosophical thought. Rich was Nietzsche's mentor and professor of classical philology at the University of Leipzig. Under Richel's guidance, Nietzsche developed a strong interest in ancient Greek literature and culture, which played a significant role in shaping his philosophical outlook. Nietzsche met Paul Ray, a philosopher, during his time in Sorrento, Italy. Although their relationship was complex and marked by personal disagreements, Ray's ideas on morality and ethics influenced Nietzsche's critique of traditional morality in his later works. Nietzsche's interactions with others, both supportive and adversarial, contributed to the richness of his philosophical perspective. It is within these dynamics that we find the seeds of his ideas on strength and adversity. Nietzsche's seminal works laid the foundation for modern existentialism and explored the concepts of will to power, the eternal recurrence, and the ubermensch. As we navigate Nietzsche's profound ideas, we begin to glimpse the essence of his famous quote. What does, that which does not kill us makes us stronger, truly signify in the context of his philosophy? 
Nietzsche's philosophical works ignited a revolution in thought that transcended time and boundaries. Unearth the profound impact his ideas had on future generations of thinkers and intellectuals. As Nietzsche's works gained prominence, so did the resonance of his quote on strength and resilience. We explore the profound influence of his empowering words on individuals seeking inner strength and growth. Nietzsche's philosophy on strength and resilience had a transformative effect on the perception of human potential. Nietzsche's thought-provoking ideas were not without controversy. Most famously his critique of religion, particularly Christianity, was one of the most controversial aspects of his work. He famously proclaimed that, God is dead, expressing his belief that traditional religious beliefs and values were no longer meaningful in the modern world. This critique of religion and morality challenged the foundations of the prevailing moral and ethical systems of his time. Even in death there were controversies, his sister Elizabeth Forster Nietzsche, who held anti-Semitic views, edited and published some of his works to align with her own beliefs. As a result, Nietzsche's ideas were misappropriated by the National Socialists, Nazis, in Germany, who distorted his philosophy to support their own ideology. This misinterpretation led to his association with fascism and anti-Semitism, which has since been widely discredited. By exploring the controversies, we gain insight into the profound impact Nietzsche's ideas had on the societal norms and values of his time, provoking thought and stimulating debate. Nietzsche did not receive any formal recognition or awards for his philosophical work during his lifetime. His ideas were often considered too radical and controversial for the academic and cultural establishment of his time. The Nietzsche Prize was established in 1900. The Nietzsche Prize is a prestigious literary and philosophical award given to individuals who have made exceptional contributions to the fields of literature, philosophy, and culture. It is named in honor of Friedrich Nietzsche and celebrates his enduring influence on intellectual and artistic endeavors. Nietzsche's legacy endures, inspiring countless individuals to find strength and purpose in their struggles. His profound philosophy continues to be studied and revered, leaving a lasting impression on generations to come. In conclusion, we've unraveled the profound philosophy of Friedrich Nietzsche and the meaning behind his empowering quote, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. Nietzsche's insights into resilience and strength offer a timeless source of inspiration for those seeking to navigate the challenges of life with courage and fortitude. Nietzsche's philosophy encourages us to embrace life's trials and emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient. As we ponder his profound thoughts, let us remember that the journey of self-discovery is an ongoing process, and challenges are the forge where we can refine the strength within us. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to you, our enlightened audience, for joining us on this intellectual voyage into the world of Friedrich Nietzsche. If you found this video enlightening, please show your support by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with like-minded seekers of wisdom. Leave your comments below, and let us know which historical figure's thoughts you'd like us to explore next. Until then, remember, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking journeys through the minds of history's greatest thinkers. If you enjoyed this video, explore our other enlightening episodes and hit that subscribe button to stay informed about.